Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a new video in Blender. Well, today is going to be a fairly short video, but we're going to be talking about annotations or basically notes, right? Let's say you need to leave a note on your screen. Um, a couple of examples. Let's say I'm working on a complex model, but I'm about to go on a sabbatical for three months, whatever. And after I come back, I completely forgot that I need to do something, right? Or I completely forgot that this is a cube. So I could go in here and say, hey, you know, when you get back, you need to remember that this is a cube, right? You can leave a note like that. And the cool thing is, as you move it around, this moves around as well, because the note is view based. Okay. Now, uh, what's another reason to use it? Let's say you have a meeting with an art director and you need to explain a few things about what you've been doing, right? You can uh, add pointers, you can add notes, you can describe things, you can kind of explain uh, why you made this cube shape, you know, you get the idea, okay? All right, so you do all that. Now, let's say you need to pass on your work to a coworker, right? Um, you have shared files on the drive. You need to uh, share that with your coworker. You can leave notes for him or her as well. So that's note making. Now, you notice that everything is in blue, right? Can you change that color? Well, of course you can. Now, the thing is up here, there's an option, but I prefer to use another option, which will be the tool settings on the right hand side. Now, how do you pull that up? Well, that depends. That depends on your settings. If you go up to edit and preferences and you go to key map, you'll see that I have my settings on industry compatible, also known as Maya settings. By default, you'll be in Blender, right? Now, depending on which choice you make here, your shortcut may be different. So I encourage you to um, try to find all the menu items without a shortcut. And then later on, once you've made your choice, learn the shortcuts. Okay. So I'm in a Maya setting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down my control key and hit the straight bracket. Okay. This one. Now, if I go to the tool right here, you'll see that I got a number of tools I can work with. If you're in default blender settings, by the way, your shortcut is N for November, right? Okay, so I can go in here and I can change the color. And if I do that, everything I just wrote will change color. What if I want multiple colors? Let's say I left a note in green and my coworker looks at it and leaves notes in red. He or she can go in here, go to notes, go to the plus sign, create a new layer, and then go in here and turn it to red, and then leave a comment saying something like, uh, I don't know, uh, okay, right, as a form of approval. So that's that. Now, what else can you do? You can stabilize stroke. It's kind of like a lazy mouse, if you know what that is. If you have a hard time making nice fluid lines and you turn that on, it'll kind of help you to make that nice and smooth, right? You can turn that on if you want. You have a radius, you have a factor, play with that, right? Okay, what's more important is right here, instead of just making uh, written lines, right? You can go in here, left click and drag and go to annotate and then line. And then you click, hold, let go and you got a completely straight line. You can also go in here and go to annotate polygon and then you just click your way around and make a polygonal shape, which can be helpful. All right. So finally we have the, come on, the eraser and you can go in here and uh, erase that. And note that it's erasing the last layer, right? So I'm not erasing the green right now. You would have to select that specific layer and then delete it from there. So yeah, that in a nutshell is what the annotate tool does. Uh, it can be very helpful. It's something that you either never use or all the time. Uh, but yeah, that's up to you, right? So hopefully it was helpful. Uh, you do me a huge favor by hitting that sub button. Uh, I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And if you have any requests videos, let me know in the comments as well. All right? See you guys in the next one. Bye.
Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.